Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain about a latch and a flip flop. So first, first of all, remember latch and flip flop both are one bit storage memory element. Okay. Uh, both latch and flip flop. are one bit memory storage elements okay so flip flop is a one bit memory storage element and latch is also one bit storage i will tell first regarding uh, flip flop and later i will discuss about latch first so flip flop is nothing but a one bit memory storage device if you see the structure of a flip flop flip flop generally has one or more inputs <coughs> flip flop generally has one or more inputs okay generally we use one input or two inputs these are the inputs of flip flop this is the flip flop and only two outputs are there always it is having two outputs one output is q and another output is q bar one output is q another output is q bar okay so flip flop has one or more inputs and only two outputs those two outputs are also complement to each other if that means the flip flop output is one in true form another one is the complement form flip flop has one or more inputs one or more inputs and two outputs are there two outputs are there <clears throat> so those two outputs are those two outputs are q and q bar q and q bar that means one is complement to another one is complement to other okay and if output q is equal to 0 means if q is equal to 0 means the flip flop stores the flip flop stores the bit 0 okay if q is having 0 in the output of a flip flop means the memory element stores the data logic 0 and similarly if q is equal to 1 means the flip flop stores the flip flop stores the bit 1 that means logic 1 okay so flip flop is nothing but a memory element flip flop is nothing but a memory element whatever the data inside that will be producing in the output and similarly here if it is 0 then 0 is the output okay opposite is the case with the q bar Q bar is having 0 in this case and in the second case Q bar is having 1. Okay. So, whatever the data that Q has that will be the data stored inside the flip flop. Okay. And coming to the latch. Coming to the latch. Before going to the latch, how the excitation is going to take place in the flip flop. Flip flop changes its state. based on clock signal based on clock signal that means as i said the number of inputs are available in the flip-flop along with the inputs along with the original inputs we are also having clock inputs along with the original inputs for the flip-flop we also have a clock signal as the input because the clock signal is the main active role to change the output state of the flip-flop 
okay so flip flop changes its state that means say logic 0 to logic 1 or logic 1 to logic 0 based on the clock signal here the rising or falling edge of clock signal he is responsible for the output change of a flip flop okay see this is the flip flop we have this flip flop has some inputs original input along with those inputs we also have a clock signal depending upon the rising and falling edge of the clock signal the output skew q bar changes here the clock signal very very importantly we have to study about the clock signal because the complete operation is depending upon the clock signal because it is a synchronous sequential circuit flip-flop is nothing but a synchronous sequential circuit as we have seen in two types of uh, sequential circuits in the previous video synchronous sequential circuit and asynchronous sequential circuit this flip-flop is a part of synchronous sequential circuit output is completely depending upon the rising and falling edges of the clock signal see here uh, generally flip-flop may be named as a rising edge flip-flop or rising edge clock flip flop may have rising edge clock or falling edge clock that means if it is having a rising edge see here this is the example of a rising edge rising edge these are the edges this is rising edge this is rising edge this is rising edge rising edge means where the clock signal is changing from logic 0 to logic 1 this is also a state this is also a state okay that means the symbol is like this rising edge flip flop is having a clock signal with a symbol like this from 0 to 1 transition with the up arrow up arrow shows that it is a rising edge that means even if the input changes even if the input changes the flip-flop has to wait until this event occurs only at this particular event the change in the input will appear in the output again in the in between these two rising edges if any change occurs in between these two rising edges if any change occurs in the input that will not affect the output okay until the until again we reach the next rising edge okay again at the next rising edge it checks any input change occurred or not at that time the corresponding output will affect okay this is rising edge similarly we also have falling edge falling edge Falling edge is nothing but same clock pulse we are taking, but the events are altered. See here, falling edge means this one. This is the falling edge. Falling edge is the one where it changes from logic 1 to logic 0. Falling edge is represented as this is the rising edge representation and this is falling edge representation. Falling edge is represented as 1 to 0 change the down arrow. Okay, same matter. Uh, flip-flop will change its state whenever the falling edge event occurs only at this particular instant the inputs will affect the output in the remaining cases it will not affect the output okay this is regarding flip-flop completely regarding flip-flop flip-flop is an edge triggered clock flip-flop has an edge triggered clock if any flip-flop uh, or we can say if, if it is a latch latch is nothing but a small memory one bit memory storage element like a flip-flop as i said so if that latch is having clock signal and operated with the rising and falling edges we can name that latch as a flip-flop okay we are saying the flip-flop means it is having a clock signal with the rising and falling edges okay coming to latch coming to latch as I said, latch is also a one bit memory storage. Latch is also one bit memory storage element. One bit memory storage element. But it does not have any clock signal. It is having 
a level triggered even if it is having a clock signal it will not respond the input at rising and falling edges it responds at levels uh, we can say it is it is a level triggered it is a level triggered storage element level triggered storage element that means this is the latch and as as i said it is also having inputs along with the input this input we call this input as enable pin we call this input as enable pin and this is output q q bar if you clearly see the flip flop and latch the only difference is this enable pin there we have a clock signal here we have a enable signal okay in flip flop completely the rising and falling edges changes the state of the flip flop output and whereas in latch the uh, levels logic 1 level or logic 0 level of the enable will change the output of the latch uh, enable signal it may be logic 0 or it may be logic 1 per certain duration like this it may be logic 0 or logic 1 the output will be affected only this particular level and again output will be affected during this particular level during this transition it will not affect okay latch is a level triggered okay one more important thing is latch may be either active high enable or it may be having active low enable pin so the latch may be responded responded means changing the output the latch may be responded for active high Act to high or act to low enable pin. Act to high or act to low enable pin. So if it is responding for act to high, its its name is act to high input latch. If it is responding for act to low enable pin, its name is act to low latch. Act to low input latch. Okay, this is regarding latch. Both flip flop and latch are used for the one bit memory storage element but most commonly we use flip flops in registers counters because the level triggering is important only the triggering should be done at a very short span of time okay thank you